One of the most overlooked and annoying pieces of tech inside your home is probably your smoke detector. But here in the age of the smart home, you can get a smoke detector that not only alerts you only when necessary, but actively aims to take care of you and your family. Today I'm gonna to show you one of the best smoke detectors you can buy for your smart home in the Nest Protect. What's going on tech squad? Andrew Edwards here, editor in chief of GearLive.com. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about tech, gadgets, and gaming. So if you're into that kind of stuff, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below along with the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future videos. As I said, today we are taking a look at the Nest Protect. This is a smart smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector for your home. By the way, big shout out to Lowe's Home Improvement for sending over the Nest Protect and for joining me in this upcoming smart home tech series. If you don't know, Lowe's Home Improvement sells everything you need to get started with your smart home, including smart lights, smart thermostats, smart cameras, and more. So if you wanna start building your smart home, head over to your local Lowe's Home Improvement store or Lowe's.com to check out all the latest gear. So as many people think, smoke detectors are meant to be in the background, something that you just put batteries in and hopefully never take a look at again. You're actually supposed to check them multiple times per year. A lot of people don't do that. And what most people don't know, back in the 1970s, it took about 30 minutes for a fire to take over a room. Today, that same fire takes less than five minutes to engulf the same room due to the different types of furniture that we use in our homes these days. And that is where the Nest Protect comes in. This is the smoke detector that thinks, speaks, and alerts your phone. Now, a couple years ago, I gave you a look at the original Nest Protect. This is actually the newly redesigned second generation model. And what I have here is the wired 120 volt version, but Nest also makes a long lasting battery version as well. So if you have wired smoke detectors in your home, you can just replace them with the wired nest. Or if you don't have that and you just wanna add extra smoke detectors in other places where there's no wiring at all, you can pick up the long life battery model. The new Nest Protect has been redesigned from the inside out. It has an industrial grade smoke sensor, tests itself regularly and automatically, and lasts for up to a decade. It's also the first home alarm you can hush from your phone without any extra hardware required. And just like the original Nest Protect, it tells you what's wrong and can even alert you right on your smartphone. So what sets the Nest Protect apart and makes it so great? Let's go into some of the features of this device and why you might wanna pick one up for your home. The Nest Protect speaks in the friendly human female voice that gives you an early warning, which is proven to be the most effective at waking people up. So the female voice is more effective than a male voice and also more effective than just a loud beeping noise at actually waking people up in the middle of the night if there's some sort of emergency. The Nest Protect will tell you where the danger is in your home. So if you have multiple Nest Protects in your home, let's just say you have one in your dining room, one in each of your bedrooms, and one in a hallway. No matter where you are, all Nest Protects will speak at the same time telling you where the danger is. For example, it'll say something like, heads up, there's smoke in the living room. So if you're in another room, it's not just beeping at you, it's actually telling you where the danger is. As I mentioned, the Nest Protect isn't just for smoke and fire, but it also monitors carbon monoxide and it has a built-in carbon monoxide sensor that should last for about 10 years. If you didn't know, you're supposed to test smoke alarms on a monthly basis, but nine out of 10 people don't. So that's 90% of you out there, me included, who don't regularly check their smoke detectors to make sure they're working in prime condition. The Nest Protect, on the other hand, checks its own batteries and sensors over 400 times every day. It's the first smoke detector that uses sound check to quietly test its speaker and horn once a month. And with the whole Nest ecosystem where everything has a sensor built in so it knows when you're home and when you're away, it'll even try to do that monthly test when you're not home so it doesn't disturb you. The Nest Protect also can determine the difference between smoke and steam. So if you ever had your alarm go off when you were taking a shower, the Nest Protect won't do that thanks to its steam check feature. It uses custom algorithms and the built-in humidity sensor to look for steam so you can enjoy that shower in peace 
and quiet. As I mentioned, the Nest Protect does have motion sensor built in, so it knows when you're walking by it. And that's really helpful and convenient in the middle of the night or just in the dark, thanks to its path light feature. You can enable the path light, and when the Nest Protect senses you walking under it, it'll actually light your way as you walk underneath it, so you're able to better see where you're going. Now, I mentioned that the Nest Protect not only thinks and speaks for itself, but it'll also alert your phone when something's going down. So let's talk about the Nest Protect smartphone features for a moment. The biggest one for me is the fact that you can hush the alarm right from the Nest app. So if something's happening and the Nest is giving you a warning, again, let's say, heads up, there's smoke in the living room and you know, while I'm in the kitchen, I'm cooking something, I kind of burned it a little bit, but there's no danger happening here. You can actually go into the app and just silence the alarm right there. No need to run over to the Nest Protect with like a big magazine or some sort of dish towel and like wave at it and open the doors and try to silence the alarm. You just do it right from your phone super convenient and easy. The other great thing about alerts is that you get them no matter where you are. You don't have to be in your home to get an alert about your home, and that's what smart home technology is really all about. So if the Nest is putting out warnings, or let's just say there is actually an emergency happening and you're not home, you'll find out immediately right in the Nest app. Now here's another pain point that most people would wanna eliminate from their lives forever. You know when your smoke detector gets low on battery and it starts beeping at you or chirping at you all hours of the day, every few minutes, every hour, whatever it might be, you start getting that beep and you know, okay, I need to change those batteries, but I don't even know which one is beeping and now that I do know I need a ladder and all this. With the Nest Protect, there's no chirping. All it does is send an alert to your phone letting you know, hey, the batteries are getting low, you might wanna change those. So if you have a battery powered Nest Protect, it's super easy to know when it's time to change the batteries and it's super easy to unhook it from the bracket, change the batteries, hook it back up and get going with that protection from there. Now I mentioned that this is the second generation of the Nest Protect. So let's talk about some of the changes that Nest made in Gen 2 that improve upon the original first generation Nest Protect. First of all, it is slimmer. It's about 11% smaller in volume so it sticks out less from the ceiling or sticks out less from the wall, wherever you put it. It actually fits in better into the motif of your home. The big one is the split spectrum sensor. It now uses two different kinds of light to detect smoke from a wide range of fires, including both fast flaming and slow smoldering fires, a first for home smoke and carbon monoxide alarms. The foam and particle board in much of today's furniture makes fires burn faster. The new split spectrum sensor uses two wavelengths of light to detect smoke from both fast burning and smoldering fires, which means that the Nest Protect knows if your room is going up in flames quickly or if there's a fire brewing, but it's not really going crazy and not going to build quickly. So the Nest Protect can tell the difference between those two different types of situations where other smoke detectors just see there's smoke, there's fire, we need to ring the alarm. The built-in microphone is what enables the second generation Nest Protect to test its speaker and horn. As I mentioned earlier, that test is called sound check and it will try to perform that when you're not home using its sensors and the app to know when you're away. What this means is that you can be comfortable in knowing that your Nest Protects are working at the proper capacity and you don't have to manually check each one of them on your own on a monthly basis. It takes care of it on its own. On the battery powered Nest, there's now a battery door that allows for much easier access to the batteries if you don't buy the wired version. The previous Nest Protect required a little more work to get into that battery compartment where now you just flip a switch, get in there, change your batteries, shut the door, and you're good. And finally, the second generation Nest Protect is much more resistant to dust and bugs causing false alarms. Apparently, that was an issue on the original where either dust would get in there or bugs would actually get in and crawl around and it would cause a false alarm. Your Nest Protect would actually think there was a fire, there was smoke, when it was really just stuff getting in there. And now the Nest Protect version 2 is much less susceptible to those types of situations. Now we talked about what makes the Nest Protect smart and how it protects your home actively, but one of the main points about a smart home isn't just buying all these different devices that can talk to your phone, it's also about getting devices that can talk to each other, and the Nest Protect and the Nest ecosystem does just that. And let me give you a couple of examples of how that works with the Nest Protect. Heating systems can cause carbon monoxide leaks or spread smoke throughout your home in the case of a fire. So in an emergency, the Nest Protect will tell your Nest 
thermostat to turn the heater off and turn off the fans in the event of emergency so that smoke and carbon monoxide aren't spread around your home. If you happen to have Nest cameras in your home, the Nest Protect will activate those cameras in the event of an emergency. The Nest cameras will automatically record and send you a video clip if it's connected to Wi-Fi. And the entire video will be securely stored in the cloud so you can go back and see what happened, what caused the accident, and anything else related to the incident. So those are two ways that the Nest ecosystem can watch out for your home through the power of the Nest Protect that you wouldn't otherwise have, and that speaks to the power of smart home devices. It's not just about convenience, it's also about safety. If you wanna pick up the second generation Nest Protect, the pricing is the same whether you go with wired models or battery powered versions. It starts at $119 per unit. If you want a three pack, it'll cost $329, saving you 28 bucks. And a six pack will cost you $614, saving you $100 off the retail price. So there you have it guys, that was your look at the Nest Protect Smart Smoke and Carbon Monoxide Detector. If you wanna pick one up right now, head over to Lowe's.com or again, you can go to your local Lowe's Home Improvement Store to check out this and all sorts of other smart home tech. If you enjoyed this one, feel free to hit that like button down below and don't forget you can click or tap on my face when it appears here at the bottom of the screen in order to subscribe for free to the channel so you don't miss any future videos, including the rest of the smart home tech series. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. As always, guys, I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards, and I'll catch you in the next video.